All right, should we do a tarot teaching quick card reading for Tuesday? Strength, lust. I think we've gotten this before, but I'll pull it out because I'm not sure. What else do we need to know? Nine of Swords, Cruelty, we got that for this week. No, we didn't. We got the Nine of Wands, but I'm pretty sure we've gotten that before. Empress. There's no description for that, so yeah. Four of Swords. One eight. And the Queen of Cups is on the bottom. Let's just read these, even though I think I've read them before. Lust, 11. This card was formerly called Strength. It implies, however, not only strength, but joy and strength exercised. The seven head, heads of a lion are respect, respectively that of an angel, saint, poet, adulteress, warrior, satyr, and lion serpent. The central figure is the woman who has surrendered herself to all the forces of creation and who rides astride of the beast. In her left hand, she holds the reins as representing the passion which unites them. And in her right hand, she holds aloft the cup of flame with love and death. In this cup are mingled the elements of the sacrament of the Eon. In the background are the bloodless figures of the saints on whom this mirage travails for their whole life has been absorbed into the Holy Grail. And it also says that um, it means courage, strength, energy, use of magical power, control of the life force, great love affair. The four of Swords right here. And it says, Truce, rest from sorrow, peace after war, relief from anxiety, recovery, change after struggle, intellectual authority, and convention. These other meanings are truth, Jupiter and Libra, Chesed, the formality of the design of the swords, the cross, and the rose denote intellectual bound of rigid convention. The surrounding crystals, as in all these sword cards, contain the hidden names of their guardian angels worked out in numbers on squared paper. It was thought that air was formed of crystal according, crystals according to Pythagoras. Alright, when we got this card, there's no description for it, but I think it's a compass, and uh, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed the reading, and that you have a great Tuesday. Bye.